to this new very quick update on my master feeder uh, project which is a sub project of the DIY media remote control project today I'm gonna show you the test that I've prepared in order to verify that everything is working with the circuits that I've produced uh, and installed in the last video you have seen it in the last video uh, before to start, I kindly ask you as usual to subscribe if you want to support my channel, to give a thumbs up to the video if you like it and to hit the bell uh, to stay tuned. So here you have the uh, circuits that you've seen in the last video mounted, let's say assembled and mounted on the motorized feather. Now is live as you can see by the light over there. I've prepared with the Nucleo board a very quick uh, demo software and hardware. Uh, in order to just connect the master fader um, to make it short. First of all, uh, touch is very well working. Uh, it was already very well working on the breadboard and I have to say that now on the PCB is even better. It's super stable, really super stable, uh, very sensible, but at the same time not messing up. So I'm extremely happy of this T TSC peripheral of uh, ST for touch and even more of the interface that ST made available through the Cube IDE in order to configure the TSC uh, peripheral. Uh, as you can see, the communication uh, via UART is working perfectly and ob of obviously also is working in reverse. The red light here that you see here is the uh, data in, the, in RX from the, uh, from the master feeder and the uh, uh, green light that you see here is the data in uh, TX. Um, everything is working, yes, but not everything was perfect, I have to say. When I completed the installation and started working into the uh, preparing this demo, uh, I have uh, immediately noticed that there was at least uh, a couple of uh, issues that at the end didn't, wasn't really significant or anyway uh, something that I've been able to overcome but still present. Uh, the first one was as you can see here you should have a, a, a green LED uh, which is the power one signaling that the circuit is powered is up and as you can see the the LED is not working why but you can see it here this is the schematic and I've made a very stupid mistake I have turned the LED on the wrong side so instead of having the plus uh, uh, versus the MCU and the minus versus the uh, uh, resistor and then the ground, I have uh, flipped it. And so of course there was no way to, to have it work. No idea why I didn't notice this. Second mistake that I did uh, is that I forgot to put a line for the 3.3 volt uh, on the circuit, which is needed as reference voltage for the ST-Link for the debugger programmer of ST. Luckily, uh, uh, this issue uh, was not a showstopper uh, because the ST-Link works even without the reference uh, voltage available. The most important thing is that uh, you of course connect the SWDIO for the input-output data, the SWCLK for the clock uh, and the reset, uh, and the ground. Uh, the ground must be in common, as usual, between the uh, ST-Link and the circuit that you are going to program. Uh, even without the reference voltage, it's working. I have to say that it's not super well working. I mean, I cannot push it at the speed uh, I should be able to do. I don't know if this is because the voltage reference is missing or if there is some disturbance into the line. I will probably, in the new circuit, add a couple of resistors for 22 ohms uh, a stride in the line of the SWDIO and SWCLK. Uh, this will act as a kind of filter and should prevent uh, problems if there are uh, disturbance uh, uh, issues on the line. Um, having said all of this, there was a third mistake that I made, which was definitely much more severe. When I connected the whole thing and I uh, started uh, uh, the uh, activity to program, the MCU, uh, the ST-Link was totally incapable to see the, uh, the MCU. The MCU was substantially dead. I dig it a little bit around, then, I mean, I thought that the problem was that I fried eventually the MCU with the hot air gun, which is something that can happen. 
so I have substituted it, but the, the problem was still there. Uh, then uh, checking and inspecting better the PCB, I've noticed something that was really uh, bad. I noticed that I put in short circuit the uh, uh, right side and left side uh, of the um, uh, of the momentary button. Momentary button have two wings. Uh, uh, the uh, let's say uh, the um, uh, uh, upper and lower side which are uh, uh, permanently connected and then you have the left and right side which in fact gets connected when you push the button for some reason i made a mistake here probably i wrongly interpret the uh, meaning of the uh, of the four uh, leads inside the schematics and i short circuit the two things so the result is that the mcu was constantly in reset this is the reason why the ST link was uncapable to see. So I took a knife, uh, a cutter, uh, and I have uh, simply uh, uh, cut the two lines connecting the left and right wings, and then I mean I was capable to uh, program. Uh, finally, uh, the things is working, so probably I will leave it like like that. I don't think I'm gonna produce a new uh, PCB with corrections. But I will see. It depends if I will find good good pricing. That's it. Um, so uh, also this part now is done and is ready to be connected to the wall circuit. And as I said already, that was really the last one. Uh, now I have all the elements needed uh, to make uh, complete the project. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.